Matt, it's an exciting day for Tracktown USA. In just about an hour from now, they'll announce the full details of what should be a terrific event starting next summer. It will debut next summer, July 26th and 27th, called Run Tracktown Weekend, and will feature the Eugene Marathon, which will move from April to July. I'm now joined by the president of Tracktown USA, Vin Lanana, to tell us more about the event. And Vin, first off, what went into putting together this exciting weekend coming up next year? Well, this is the project, this is the biggest project we've uh, undertaken thus far. And it's uh, really exciting for us to take the road racing community and connect it with track and field. And we have the World Juniors here next year. It's a perfect opportunity to put those two things together. You mentioned connecting the road racing community and the track and field community. Why is that such an important thing to do? Well, there are about 28 million people in this, in this country that run road races. And uh, we've long believed that in connecting those runners to the sport of track and field will benefit the entire sport. And we think that the junior athletes will enjoy having the opportunity to watch the marathoners compete. Now this isn't something that's obviously just going to happen next summer. It's something that you obviously hope to grow for years to come. What is, uh, what do you think the future is for an event like this? We, we think it's going to be big. It, it may very well be the biggest celebration in running that the United States has, has seen uh, because this is an opportunity for us to have people. We already have an established event. Uh, Healy Productions has done this with the Eugene Marathon for years. They've grown it and now we have this opportunity to connect all the dots now going to bring in the founder of the Eugene Marathon, Andy Healy. And Andy, this has got to be an exciting day, not just for Tracktown USA, but for you especially. What went into this decision to move the Eugene Marathon to July? Well, you're right. This is as, as exciting as it can be for uh, the marathon world, I think. We, uh, my wife and I and my uncle, uh, Richard Maher, started this event, uh, started thinking about it eight years ago. We've had seven events. Our mission from the very beginning was to uh, reinforce that uh, Eugene, Trackdown USA is the absolute running mecca of the United States and this event and this partnership with Trackdown USA really gives us the ability to take it to the next level, to take the running community, the 30 million people a year that run a road race and really connect the dots for those folks that they are runners and, and they should be track and field fans if we bring, as we are expecting to, 10,000 runners, uh, which will probably be another uh, 20,000 folks that come down uh, to support them into this environment and allow, or put them in an environment where they can watch a high caliber track meet. Uh, in this culture where fans truly understand the sport, it's the spirit and the energy around track and field is so contagious in Eugene. And we believe that those folks, if they experience that, will become track and field fans. It sounds like one of the numbers that you guys are shooting for is 10,000 runners for this marathon coming up. How realistic do you think that is, especially when you have the World Juniors going on at the same time and the Eugene Marathon now moving for this big celebration? How realistic do you think that is? I, I think it's absolutely realistic. We finished uh, close to 9,000 participants last year, and so it's really not uh, a major increase. It's pretty consistent with our growth rate uh, since the beginning of the event. We started out with 4,000 people. Again, we're now about 9,000 anticipating 10,000 or so next year. Uh, we want to grow this to a 20,000 person event, but we don't want to do it overnight. We want to make sure that we're doing it in a very deliberate way uh, where the course doesn't get too crowded, uh, the community doesn't get too crowded. And, um, and but yeah, no, 10,000 I think is, is absolutely achievable. What does this say about the uh, Tracktown USA as a whole? Um, and now partnering, I mean, you guys, I know uh, Vin Lanana talked about it as well, connecting road running community with track and field community. What does it say about this community and Tracktown USA to get this all as a collaborative effort? Well, I think, you know, this is one of the very rare places that you can actually pull it off. And you can pull it off because of, is for, you know, first and foremost, the community, which really, is, they're distance running fans. And uh, we get amazing support from the community, uh, you know, cheering on our athletes and obviously, huge track track fans down here as well um also the history the lure the the tradition down here um you know you can't replicate that and people recognize that globally um, and i think the third piece is which is which is critically important is the climate this is in 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 july the average temperature in the morning is 62 degrees which is could not be more perfect for running a marathon or a half marathon most of our participants will finish in the morning when it's around that temperature. So, which is one of the very few, rare few, or few places in the United States right. you can actually do that. So, um, and today is a perfect example for that. 
Everyone says it'd be too hot in the summer. Runners are worried about it being too hot. Yeah. Not going to be too hot. Yeah, it might be too cold today. <laughs> exactly. Andy, thanks so much for your time. I yeah, thank you it. so much.